school custodian for nearly three decades, but recently Mike Peterson set aside brooms and buckets for a brand new role. As Boyd Hooper shows us in his land of 10,000 stories, there's no more cleaning, but there's still a classroom. School custodians traditionally stay in their lanes. It's just all about getting the work done. No longer so at Plymouth Middle School. Good morning. Where Mike Peterson has gone from broom so, so to okay. classroom. You know what he did before? Yeah, he was a janitor, a janitor. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Even as he traversed the school in his custodial role. For the chiller system. Mike was keenly aware. Remember page 78. Of the need for substitute teachers. Show me the page. Everyone here is. It's immense. Especially yeah. principal, yeah. Leah Ward. Yeah, I know our human resources department has done a lot of different work, you know, trying to recruit in different ways, and we just are still seeing a shortage. Did you get it? Good, all right, you're all right. But before Mike could teach, he needed a degree, which taking night classes, Yes, he got. This old dog is learning new tricks. First hired nearly 30 years ago as a night custodian, Mike retired in the spring of 21 as Plymouth Middle School's custodian director. If you need help. But that fall. I'm here to help you. He was back. Yeah. Surprising students like Tyson Tate. And you're like, oh, you're coming back to teach now? So you're like, okay. Turns out, yeah. as Mike walked these halls as a janitor, he was also listening <laughs> and learning. This is my mentor. This Hi. is the one I talked about. Hi. From teachers. <laughs> yeah. So sweet. Like Paula Engel. She's in the Spanish room. Paula, too, was caught off guard by Mike's new role. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. But was soon convinced. OK. The school's new sub had something unique to teach. I painted almost every one of these rooms. I think kids need different role models and with different backgrounds, and I think the kids can relate to that. We've worked together for a very long time. <laughs> so the guy who built the COVID shields for the media center. We love you. <laughs> Here we go. Is the same guy. Oh, you're close. One more page. Now teaching students on tables he painted. All right, you guys were listening. I like that. And doing it. You look like you're getting done. You're look, looking good. At 64. Good job. After. How about you? How are you doing? He retired. You got your notes? He cares about Plymouth Middle School. Teacher, Barb Wurderman. He could be home. He could be doing other things. But he's choosing to come help us. Why would you want to come here? Mike took a long time to answer that question. Why did he come back to the place he'd cleaned and painted and swept? Don't show us. It's my family. Sorry, Mike. We have to show this to fully understand why you did what you did for your school family. These are the people I supported. He took care of the building. He took care of all of our needs, and now he's moved into his new role. Still taking care of us. Still taking care of us. No longer a custodian, but still in the right lane. Have a good day, guys. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. Yeah, helping in a different way. Plymouth. Well, don't think for a minute Mike is done. After school, he's back in school, this time working on his master's degree. Good for him. I love it. Good for him and good for them. Mm -hmm. I love it's that. It's a win-win for everybody, yeah. right? I'm kidding. I and just having all those different kinds of role models, as she said. Right. I mean, that's so important, right? And yeah. him saying, I'm an old dog with new tricks. It's like, uh, totally. it's inspiring. Thanks. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Boyd, as always, on Monday night. Such an uplifting exactly. story on a Monday. We yep. need it. Okay.